Gboard or Google's keyboard is one of the most underrated app from Google Stable and in today's video we're going to explore some of its amazing feature set which you can use to improve your typing experience on Android. So without wasting any time, this is me Sameer. You guys are watching Geeky Fight and let's start today's video. Okay, so let's start with our first tip and that is you can translate text in real time. If you want to communicate with a person who speaks a totally different language than yours, you need to open a dedicated translation app to understand what that person is actually saying. But what if I tell you that you don't need to open any third party app, all you need is Gboard. To do this, you need to open Gboard and in the toolbar section, you'll have the option of translate, tap on it. And now, all you have to do is just type the text you want to translate into a different language and voila, Gboard will do it for you. Not only you have to write in to translate a particular text, you can also copy and paste and you'll get the translation. So all in all, this is one fantastic tip if you want to use translate on your Gboard. Now, let's move to our next tip. You can also add a dedicated number row on your Gboard for faster access to the number. So if you're a person who uses a lot of numbers, then you might be switching a lot between alphabets and numbers continuously while typing. And this is a very tedious job in my opinion. To solve this out, all you need to do is just go into the Gboard setting. Now select preference and enable number row and now you will see that you have a dedicated number row upon your G4. So that was quite useful tip for all the people who loves to type number on their keyboard. So now before moving forward, I would like to know how many of you use their phone for typing and for phone calls and do let me know which is one activity you do the most on your phone. By the way, I know the answers that most of us normally use our phone for typing. So while typing, we love to share our expressions through emojis. And this tip is for you guys because in Gboard, you can search a dedicated emoji. Gboard has a huge collection of emojis which sometimes can get overwhelming and you might not be able to find that particular emoji you are looking for. In such scenarios, you can search that emoji by using Gboard. How to do that? Activate Gboard and open emoji section and type in the kind of emoji you are looking for. I am happy right now. I can just write happy and every emoji related to the happy word will be visible to me. And I have to only choose from it and only be happy about it. So this is not the only method from which you can type in your desired emoji. You can do one more thing and that is type in a word and Gboard will suggest you some emojis regarding that word. But the caveat is you will get only two to three suggestions which might not be enough or might not contain your desired emoji. Now let's talk about my favorite tip which I use on daily basis on Gboard and that is you can use your space bar as a trackpad. If you want to move the cursor to a specific location in the text box, then my friend, you don't need to tap on it. You need to place your finger on the space bar and move according to your preference, either right or left. So next tip is quite handy and that is single hand mode. You know what I did there? Huh? Handy? Hmm? So if you own a large device and at the moment you only have one hand from which you can type, then my friend, you can just assign Gboard to the left or right side of your device, which will help you to type single handedly. To activate one hand mode, you need to long press on the enter key or the return key and select one handed mode. And automatically your Gboard will be assigned towards left or right you can also switch the position by tapping on this arrow. And to stop one-handed mode, you need to tap on full screen button and your Gboard will be back in its all glory. And now let's move forward with our next tip. And over here, I'm going to tell you how you can delete a plethora amount of text like this. So if you want to delete a lot of text, you don't need to tap on again and again on the backspace key. In fact, you can just tap and hold and swipe towards left and select the amount of text you want to delete on the backspace key. 
And this tip will ensure that you don't indulge in any misleading context. And now let's talk about sharing GIFs using Gboard. Gboard also allows you to search and share GIFs through the emoji section. How to do it? Open the emoji section and there will be an option of GIF at the bottom of the screen and search for the desired GIF and send it across. And you can also search for the GIFs according to the categories as well. So if you're like me who likes to type in a lot of text and sometimes while typing you miss out some spaces while you have inserted some punctuations, then my friend, this tip is for you. So this is a handy feature which helps you to save some time and of course avoid typing mistakes. Google Board will automatically add a space right after you have inserted a punctuation mark like exclamation mark, question mark, colon or even comma. To enable this feature, you need to go into the Gboard setting, select text correction and toggle on auto space after punctuation. So that's all guys, that's how you enable this feature on your Gboard and next time when you type in a punctuation character, Gboard will automatically add a space right after it. Now let's talk about one fun feature, that in Gboard you can mix and match emojis and get the desired result according to you. How to do that you ask me? For that you need to open Gboard and go into the settings, go into the preferences and turn on the toggle of emoji switch key. So whenever you are chatting with someone, open the emoji section and select any two emoji and right after that Gboard will create a new emoji combining both the emojis you have typed in and you can set this emoji as a sticker while you are chatting with your loved ones and mind you this feature only works with communication apps it does not let you go to the google type in these emojis and get the search result out of it and now let's talk about one complicated thing which is made easy if you use google Play. that is inserting fractions while you are typing if you want to type out fractions, you don't need to use slashes or decimal point. All you can do is just tap and hold on a number you want to type fraction of and Gboard will pop up some options for you related to that number with fractions. Another way is tap on the num key and without lifting your finger, slide onto a number you want to type fraction of, hold it there and Gboard will suggest some fractions related to that number and you can choose from it. And that's how guys you put fractions while you are typing. But for the last tip and this is my favorite, my bonus tip for you guys that you can also insert custom phrases in the Gboard. For example, if I want to type out my whole address then it might take 2 to 3 minutes to do it. But what if I assign a dedicated shortcut in the Gboard for that spec and then all I have to write is ADD and Gboard will convert that shortcut into my address. And how to add these shortcuts you ask me? It's quite simple. All you need to do is open Gboard, go into the settings, select dictionary, now tap on personalized dictionary. Here I am going to select English and tap on add icon. And firstly you can type the full sentence you want to write and in the shortcut option write the abbreviation. And now you can add shortcuts related to your addresses, phone numbers, email IDs and what not else and you can just type in whole address, whole email ID, each and every number of yours in just a second. So that's all guys. If you like this video, make sure you press the like button. And of course, if you're down there, then do let me in the comment section which one is your favorite tip regarding the Gboard. And of course, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing content like this. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off and I'm going to see you in the next one. Till then, tada. Yeah, bye bye boss.